Is this thing on? <laughs> Are we live? Are we live? Yeah, we live, man. We are live. <clears throat> yeah, we live, man. Well, let's get to the money then. Let's get to the money then. Let the people roll and get to their seat. You know, YouTube be playing around with these notifications and all that. They be acting real, you know, YouTube now to get their funny up, not their money up. People say they got the noties on YouTube and they ain't getting them. Let's talk about that. You know, I ain't going to start ranting too early, though. Let me get my share out and then we're going to get to work. Hit that like button on your way in. Hit that like button on your way in. Please. I'm not saying please anymore. Thank you. Come on, man. You got to show a little humility. I just feel like it's something that when when you pull back up here every time, you know, every time we rock, you pull up because you, cause you, cause you know, you love is love. You, you act, rock with us. We rock with y'all. what you want, bro. They know we want the like button hit. They might not. You got to know. Cheeks, what up? All my mods, what up? All my members rolling in, what up? Yeah, we're going to talk about the Super Stream a little bit. Did y'all like the T-Rex Super Stream? We're going to talk about it. We got a 5v5 today. We damn sure going to talk about that Wody panel. 5v5 today? Yeah, we got a 5v5. You want me to tell you now so you can just, you know, think about what, what you want to go with? Um, wanna go Surprise f- me. Surprise me. I'm that nice. I can do that. Surprise me. We definitely going to talk about that Wody panel today. We got to get to that. We got to get to that today. It's only right. You know, it's a topic of discussion in the last 48 hours. We had Thursday. We don't mess a Friday. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed y'all week. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed y'all week. It was raining all week where we from here in the Delaware Valley. But um, still a beautiful Thursday. We ready to get to the weekend. We got a big announcement coming up. I think we got a super stream on Sunday. You think? I think. And mm-hmm. I, I don't usually do y'all like that. I think we got a super stream on Sunday. Be on the lookout. Might be a super duper stream, too. Do me a favor, bros. Hit my music. Keep a G in the way that I walk. I keep a G in the way that I talk. They came to me when they needed the rail. I came to me when I needed support. Same as was happy as look like the end. They came to me when they needed a start. I never needed a reason to be anything other than what I've been from the start. Rosie, welcome back to the channel, man. Happy to see y'all. Hopefully, y'all happy to see me back on the Thursday edition with Frozen Bros. I am your host, Frozen. I got my co-host. Mr. Never Repeat Himself, Brosie. Yeah, 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 (laughs) yeah. All that. (laughs) All that. Now, appreciate it, Freaky Froze. Congratulations on 14K. I appreciate that. Appreciate you rocking. Shout out to the zone. I appreciate you for keeping that name for as long as you did. It's all thanks to y'all. You know, we actually had a good talk today, me and bros. Right, bros? And, you know, we spoke about some things we wanted to change, some things we wanted to upgrade, some things we wanted to put a little bit more, a lot more effort into. And one of the things was bringing more content to the channel, different content, not just blogging, not just battle rap, but actually some fire-ass content that you can rock out to and be entertained by. So we are about to start upping the content on the channel. Shout out to Country Kirby. He's been a member for four months. Country Kirby pay his bills. He said, what's good, my biracial bandits? Yeah, the beige <laughs> bandits. Four months he paid his bills. Shout out to Country Kirby. That's love. That's love. You know, bro, it's a little story before we get into what we want to get into today. You got a story? <clears throat> I get a call earlier this week. Okay. From my baby mom. <laughs> Word. Word. And she said, hey, um, you know, I need you to um, I need you to go through baby girl phone. So I'm like, why? Because, you know, I, I'll reserve the right to go through my 15-year-old daughter's phone anytime, anytime I want. Anytime you want. You hit that button anytime, anytime you want. Anytime I want. But when you get a call 
like, hey, go through that phone. Yeah. You know, it's like. Well, spare me. What did you see already? You know what I'm saying? Why? Well, I need well, to go well, what it? you mean go through it? Yeah. So, you know, she's um me and my baby mom, that's the only child we got together. She got three other kids. Yeah. You know, I got five other kids. Right? Yeah. Now, our daughter's the oldest on both sides. Right? She the oldest of her siblings with her mom. She the oldest of her siblings. <laughs> both of y'all like it raw. That's crazy. <laughs> well, that's my name. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> so, um, you know, I'm I'm irritated from the rip. Okay. I'm irritated to me. You know, what do you mean go through her phone? That would have bothered me so too. She said I was talking to her little sister, um, which she's around 12, 13. Okay. And uh she said, you know, she said she got a boyfriend. Right? Okay. She said she got a boyfriend. Now you know, immediately, I always felt like once I, if I've ever gotten that call or I was ever presented with some information like that, how I would react. But I got to be honest, I didn't trip. I didn't trip, and I was surprised why I didn't trip. I didn't understand why I wasn't tripping. But I had all the answers. I knew what I wanted to do. I knew how I wanted to handle it. So she got to the crib. I blitzed her. From the rip. She, she never seen it coming? She never seen it coming. I Ooh. said the corners and the safeties, it was a sellout. Now, now, hold on. Before, and I hope I, I don't make you lose your train No, of I'm not. I'm right here. But is because for me, when, when I pull the phone card, it's nerve-wracking. And to the point where I, I'm i going through it, but I really don't want to know what's in this phone. I don't want to go through this phone. I really don't want to know. I don't want to go through this phone. But I have to. But I have to, but I really don't want to know. Is that the same feeling like that you I, had? There was some of that. Okay. I was dealing with some of that. Okay. Because so here's the thing. She had her homegirl crib right around the corner. So I'm like, hey, you know, we're supposed to go out. So I'm like, hey, I was going to go pick her up from her homegirl crib. Right? right? But That's what I said. I was, I'm a defensive coordinator. I'm drawing up the blitz. You're drawing now, up hey, the play right now. I'm dealing with something on the phone right now. Walk your ass home. We're going to leave from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? But oh. no indication that there's an issue. Here. No issue. Okay, Dad. All right, boom. So now I'm thinking, I'm like, all right, how are we going to do this? Are we just going to go right through the phone and try to, you know what I mean, see what's up with what the wall's up? <laughs> so um, she gets to the crib. She walks in. Come on, Dad, you ready? Uh, no, I'm not ready, actually. So I said, listen, I'm, 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 I'm going to do something that I don't usually do, right? Instead of telling you what I know or I'm assuming I know, I'm going to give you a chance to be a big girl and tell me the truth. <laughs> right? So first thing I need you to do, put your phone on the table. I need phone you to, on the table. Phone on the table, step three feet away from it. Yeah. I need you to get yeah, away yeah, from yeah, this yeah. phone. Don't move. Don't move. Don't reach. Don't move. You make any <laughs> sudden moves, this shit might go left. Okay? Um, she like, Dad, what's going on? I said, your mom called me. Now, I tried to hit her with this first. Now, I already know you got a boyfriend. Your little sister told on you. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Your little sister told on you. Okay. She told me about the phone calls. You know, the, the little boy you used to be talking to, and I'd be like, "Who that?" And you'd be like, "That's my gay friend, such and such." She said, "Yeah, he not he not gay. He don't exist." So now I feel bamboozled, right? Hell yeah, she hitting you little, with the she hitting you with the I got a gay homie. Got a gay homie. Now I don't went to football games. No, I don't, I don't, I'm just all right. I'm not I, saying you know. I'm just saying that's that's advanced, right? That's thought out. Yeah. Now, the only part, now, baby mom told me, listen, little sis might be lying. But okay. because Maya's at the age she's at, I need you to check on it. Now, the first thing that had me thinking little sis was lying is she said the little gay homie didn't exist. I've, I've met the little gay homie. All right. You know, I done took her to football games, basketball games. I, that's why I, so you I'm like, chill with that him. don't, I don't chill with him, but I've seen her with him. That's her buddy. Say less. Well, I don't know. I would chill with a gay 15 year old. I mean, but uh, what? <laughs> it makes no sense. But uh, I've seen my daughter with this little boy. And, you know, I thought the young boy was gay. I didn't think. I thought I saw it. Right. So clearly. Yeah, I saw it. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's that's young boy. I ain't got to I ain't got to watch him. Right. I ain't got to watch him. He cool. He don't want no girls. So <laughs> <laughs> he don't want no girls. Right. So right. um, boom. I'm like, uh, you know, I'm going to give you a chance to tell the truth. Your little sister told on you. All right. Now, what I don't want to do is ramsack your phone. Now, you know I'll go through this 
this is my effort anytime I want to. You know Facts. that, right? Yeah, that I know. But you know, I don't go through it a lot. And I told her, I said, you get privacy that you have not earned. Right? It's a privilege. It's a privilege. This For isn't sure. something that you're owed. This isn't, you get a certain level of privacy that is a luxury. Yeah. Right? Like having the privacy of your phone. Right? But I said, um, so what's it now? Only thing I had from baby mom was his name start with a J. So she has no information other than what the little sister told you. Nothing. So you're not working with a lot here. I'm not working. I might be shooting. I might be shooting from half court here. You need a confession. I need a confession. <laughs> I need a confession. My <laughs> evidence. You don't have enough evidence. Now, here's the thing, the bros. Crimes to stick. Here's, here's the thing, bros. <laughs> here's the thing. <laughs> you need her to, t- the you need evidence. to turn the heat up. And now, I got a warrant room. to get in this phone. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got a yeah, warrant. Yeah. <laughs> I got a warrant. So it's right yeah. here. The CI, the CI. The I CI. don't want to <laughs> go in this phone, though. This close to home. You know, I'm not trying to go into this phone. I'm terrified. And, and I already know. She get into the age where she trying to work around me and not tell me things as a form of lying. And I try to tell her that like not telling me the truth, but not telling me a lie is lying. Yes. Right. Like if you know something that you're doing that I don't like, and you think not telling me is just, that's a, that's lying to me. I same category. Correct. So I'm like, listen, um, (laughs) business says circumstantial. It's very circumstantial (laughs) business, but at the same time, listen, at the, at the, at the, he's got a CI as the district attorney. I have to pursue this case. I have to, I have to, he's got a CI. So with the CI alone, it's enough to get the, I got the warrant. So, uh, she, I'm like, little boy name start with Jay. What's his name? She like, I I don't know nobody with name Jay. All right, so first Lawyer. of all, first Lawyer. of all, look, look, look. <laughs> I'm like, yo, so look, because I mind you, in a normal uh, situation, she would expect she would expect me to be a lot more stern. I'm trying to talk to him approach, right? Yeah. She's getting older. Dad, mm-hmm. you don't talk, you don't you don't want to talk enough. You just all right, cool. Rambo. So I'm like, right. yo, I'm like, all right, we 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 20 seconds in and I'm getting pissed off. Next starting to get hot. You're telling me you don't know nobody with the name Jay? Just start with a name Jay? I can think of one, your little cousin. <laughs> I mean your big cousin. Yeah. <laughs> you know somebody off with right. that start. So what's nah, but when you put somebody on a spot though, it, Yeah, you know right, right. Like, well, she's trying to see what I know. She's trying to get a feel for what I know, right? Um, where is that going in the team phone is scary for sure. 100 percent All right, so I'm like, um, there ain't no boy of the name Jay. She said, no. I said, do you have a boyfriend? She said, no. I said, okay. Um, would you, would you, this was a dumb question. Would you tell me if you had a boyfriend? I would tell you if I liked a boy, I know I'm not allowed to have boyfriends. That's so good answer. I'm good. Sounds like she's working, you know, for working, a long I want to tell you what, I'm about to get to the good part. <laughs> um, about to get to the good part. Uh, so, um. Uh, I said, do you talk to any boys? She said, yes, but they're just friends. I have, a, and, and, and I've told you about them. Yeah. Um, there was a little young boy that she was at practice with, that she was after practice with, that she got caught being after practice with, that she wasn't supposed to be hanging around with a few months back. So I was on young member fat boy gave me the call. Yo, I'll just yeah, throw yeah, out yeah. of school. Yeah. I remember Ain't that. practice over at four. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. So, um, she like, yeah, we're just friends. So at this point I feel like I'm getting worked. Give me the phone. Give me the phone. Boom. Yeah, yeah. I hit it. I put, you know, she got the face scan. I put it right on it. O- open the phone oh, wait, right up. Wait, you fl- yeah, yeah. You fl- <laughs> yeah, like I flashed my badge on her. So, you know, you know um, so uh, now, now here's the tough part. I know the, you know, I know the iPhones front to back. Front to back. The secrets. Yeah. The, the, the hidden compartments. For sure. Uh, uh, the, 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 the treasure chest with the extra code. I know it all. Let's get it. She don't know how much I know. Yeah. About this phone. Uh, SJS, talk that five and shit, bros. I got two little ones too. Not excited for this age. Nah, it's the worst. That's tough, man. It's the worst. Uh, bros SJ. got a fifteen year old too, but she's my daughter's older cousin. You got to literally re. I'll get into that. Later, so you but. boom, boom. I, I flash the badge on her. Open the phone up. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So what's the first thing I do? You go into recently deleted. No, that's already there. Okay. I go right in. I go right to photos and I look and I look to see if the hidden is there. Mm. The hidden, it's a hit. You know, you got your selfies, your videos, your snapshots, recently deleted, recently deleted, and oh, then, and you, then, got, the hit, oh, then you got yeah, your yeah, hidden. Yeah. I got a couple, see, I got a couple files in, in that you, folder. You feel me? I so you can <laughs> you can hit, but see, you could go in the settings and turn hidden off to where it won't show up in those selections. Okay. Right. So you just learn me some. Yeah. Oh, you just, I'm, I'm, now, I'm, now, I'm now, listen, surgical with this bitch. Gonna, you need my face to get into the hidden folder, but you can see hidden. You can so, see it. So, boom. Um, 
I, I go on, I see it's not there. Okay. So Order. the hidden is, is the gone. The hidden's hidden. Ooh. So I'm writing the settings. Swoop, okay, boom, that general yeah. photos. Uh, yeah. Hidden on. On. Turn now, it on, please. Now my heart beating. Yeah, yeah racing. Now my heart beating. It's racing. My heart's beating at the, this point. You know, it's racing. I'm, I'm getting into the no-no zone. All right? Yeah. Now, yeah. I go to the photos. Boom, scroll up. Uh, hit the hit the hidden. It's there. And 17 photos pop up. All of the same little boy. Okay. Okay, it was about four videos like TikToks. No freshness. Okay. Be the first to say nothing. Nothing bad. I, you know what? When you said the videos popped up, it, my heart stopped beating. So, <laughs> not for real. Well, you not know, for real. Well, you know, we would have had a funeral to yeah. go to. So you know, it, it couldn't have been that bad because we didn't go to any funerals. Facts. All right. So, um, it's it's about it's four like TikTok videos of this of this boy, a young boy, and then um like thirteen selfies. Okay. But it's all the same young boy. So we're lying. So I'm like, all right. What's his name? What's his name? She say his name. Well, that's the young boy that she was after practice with that one day. Did it start with a J? No. Okay. But it was the young boy that she got caught with one time. Yeah. After practice when she was supposed to be on her, her way to the when, crib. When, 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 when the homie. When the so homie. he just a friend. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, now we need to revisit this conversation because you said he just a friend. Yeah. But. You said you got how many guy friends? She said, I have three guy friends that I talk to that are my buddies. Where? Where are the pictures of the other two little niggas in the head? Yeah, yeah, because only one of them. Because that's only one here. Only one of them sending you What's pictures. What's only one here? And they were just regular selfies? Regular selfies. I'm like, you're hiding them. Rival, why are you hiding them? Why are you so, hiding them? So, boom, his name what? She tell me, I don't want to put the little boy name on You got to put his name out there. I'm not. Um, and it don't start with a J. And don't start with a J. Okay. So, our little sister already lying, right? Well, like, his little sister told you half the truth. Half the truth. So. Um, I go to the, I, what's his name saved under? She tell me his name. It, it was saved under like a nickname. Was there any emojis next to it? The text thread was empty. Oh. Now. It's a, it's a giveaway. It's a dead giveaway. It's a giveaway. You didn't leave not any text messages? You, I'm not Nothing? Giveaway. Not even the innocent dad wouldn't get mad if he saw these messages? You put those away? That's it. So now I, something's going on. I got a case here. We could take this yeah. to trial. We're still circumstantial, boy. but we could take more. I mean, well, I'm telling you, we are. We, we are, have enough. For we have enough. I can we link. We have enough. For I have. I, I, listen, case, uh, listen. Let me explain something to you, bro. I have both the perpetrators connected yeah. at one time. We have I enough have for that. conspiracy. We do. I have we that. Do. We, we're in now I have folder. pictures of one yeah. of yeah. the perpetrators in the other perpetrator's phone. 100%. There's a connection here. There's a connection here. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. So and I said, okay. A- so I said, okay. Remember when I told you not telling me the truth is lying? Yeah. Like, you ain't tell me a different story than the truth. You just didn't tell me something. I said, we got about five lies here. There's about five time felonies. There's five felonies here, right? <laughs> There's five felonies here. One, you told me he was just your friend. He is just my friend. How much All time right. for each felony? Look, look, a lot. <laughs> How many a lot. The, I mean, the, the maximum, we're talking about three summers, <laughs> right? Juvenile life here, right? Oh my, yo, this is great. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, this is <laughs> so good. I, I didn't shit. even mean to take over the first segment no, of the this show is with good this, shit but I had right to get here. this off my chest, and I knew I wanted to talk to the zone about it, right? Because oh, I know fire. we got we got enough for pretrial, Biz. Nah, you feel nah. me? For sure, you have enough circumstantial evidence. The judge is gonna hear this to make a conspiracy case all day, all day. All right, so boom, I'm like. You told me he's just a friend, but you got other guy friends. But you have 16 photos hidden of one particular boy. Now, I'll give you, you're lucky there ain't nothing inappropriate in here. Yeah. Because I don't know how pretty he would have thought you were when we got done <laughs> figuring this out. Right? That might have messed one up for you. But I, I said, that's not friendship. Right? So I'm going to ask you, do, do you like this little boy? She like, Yes. Ooh. I'm like, well, do the little boy like you? She said, he said, yeah, I think so. You know what I mean? So I think at that point, you know, she's just trying to kind of water it down or yeah, whatever yeah. it is there in high school. I told you I went to the high school basketball game about a month ago. Yeah, we're going to admit to the lesser crime. Admit to the lesser crime. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, And, and you know, we had a long conversation after that. But, I mean, I, I want to tell you that um, she got out on bail. Mm-hmm. 
But she's on house arrest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's on house arrest. She should probably try to flee. She's on house arrest. Well, I'll tell you what. I got the tracker. She cuts that tracker off. I mean, we're in high pursuit. Yeah. It's, it's, we'll lock it's, down all the exits. We'll lock down all the bridges. It's nerve-wracking because you got to literally relearn your child. Like, from ages, you know, from when they're a baby to about 9, 10, 11, you know, maybe even 12, depending on your kid. You know, the, for the most part, they're, like, in the kitty world. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But when they become around like 13 14 15 now now they're like they're young teenagers looking to become young women you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and they're completely different like this was said froze still in the middle of this investigation <laughs> <laughs> we're still we're still uh, yeah. we're still gathering evidence we're still gathering we're still gathering, we're still gathering. For sure. it's, it's it's tough for sure it's a day by day case um, i just point. know there's a lot of parents that 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 be in our chat sometimes i know a lot of y'all have kids a lot of y'all have daughters and maybe some of them are I got a story for you talk to me same scenario, right? Same scenario. Um, actually, different scenario. I was using my daughter's phone. I was using my daughter's phone, and a text message came to the God top. Damn, the water. A text message came to the top from a from a from a young boy. Yeah, and it broke my heart. Right? Yeah. Text message said, "Why are you always in every nigga face?" Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. Like, like everybody, look, look, everybody, your bro. Yo, I'm gonna keep it a bean. There's layers to that, bro. There's layers to that. Cause first, I, who is this little nigga talking to, and why is he talking to you like that? Like he, like you're, like you're, like you're his. That's number one, bro. And then two. I mean, I don't know him, and I ain't really fucking with him, but why is you in every nigga <laughs> face? Like, I'm, I'm kind of with young and on that. down, facts. Right? You know, but it's them talks that you have after those moments that, like, you realize, like, man, my baby girl is, is, is you know, going to be a grown woman one day, and I got to give her away. Right? When she when she gets older and, and, and wants to get married and shit like that, like, I got to deal with that. It's tough to think about. And, and, it's tough and to also think about that no matter how much you try to control them, these little boys out here, they are hunting and praying. I and they are. I was doing at 15. Come on, man. Come on, man. And, you can, and you, can, you can put them up on as much game as you want. I mean, I know bros and we have talks with our teenage daughters. You got talks. to. You got to talk to them. But these little young boys got game, too. So and it's funny now that I've seen that message, every message now, anytime I go like all the threads, maybe one or two messages. Like we're cleaning the phone. That we're swiping. I don't like we're, it. We're, we're we're cleaning the phone daily. I don't like it. Daily. They're sweeping this. this is, you're doing daily sweeps through this phone. Daily. It might as well be a burner. I gotta check it. Might as well. Might as well be a burner. It's kind of crazy. It's tough. I keep the I keep the location on through the iPhone. Yeah. <laughs> You know, you know you at at all times. They, I tell you what, once you hit 15, they want to go out every weekend, every school day off, every, it's just, they just always want to do something. And it always involves going out. Yeah. I want to go out with Chelsea. I, I use the I wanna, grades to, to, to try to work in the nose. You know, I think that's a great system that you have. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because she has good grades. But even when you see a bunch of A's and then you got she's got a C in one, we're harping on that. 72. That oh, C's no, a you problem. Can't you can't go anywhere. You can't go nowhere. You can't go anywhere. Right, you get that How can up. you go anywhere with a 72 in English? <laughs> How could you go have to the you skating rink? You need to rink? study. Yeah. You need to study. You don't need to bowl. You yeah. need to study only yeah, English. For sure. Right? So I love that system. Yeah. Come and, back and think, to me when this grade looks right. And I think that the fact that you hold her accountable in school as the, listen, I'm going to delay the, the, the growing process as much as I can, mm -hmm. right? But bare minimum, if you're going to be going to the outside, this shit going to be straight A's. And, and, and at that point, I feel, I, like, I feel like mine works against me sometimes, though. I ain't going to lie. But you won't be the first person to deal with that. Like, like Dude, you won't be the first person you to know, deal with like, that. Like, I feel like I'm not, I'm hard on her because I don't want her to be average. It's hard out here. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's tough. Mm -hmm. This shit ain't easy. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and you know, I just want to make sure she's right. I want to make sure she, you know, knowing that it's tough and knowing that if you trying to be average, you're gonna have an average life. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So 
Yeah, but anyway, okay. Anyway, sorry. We apologize, <laughs> y'all. Shit, we got twenty four <laughs> minutes in. What up, Mo? And we ain't even talk about nothing that we scheduled to talk about on the show. So let's get right to it. All right, bros. Congratulations, 2020, 2023. Wody. Shout out to Miss Hustle. The villain. Miss mm-hmm. Hustle. Congratulations. First off, before we get into any discussion about the 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 the, the debates or the the what went in twos and the whys, what's and where's, congratulations to Miss Hustle. Just like in the Cody conversation, I thought Twerk and Big K did enough to win. I thought all three of those ladies in the Chef top Trash three. was right there. They were very similar. It was I a three man, three, three women race. Did enough to win. Yes. Yes. So I'm not mad at that. Okay. And and shout out to Coffee Brown. Mm-hmm. And shout out to Jazz for being finalists in the top three. Two prior winners who've already have won the award, I believe. Uh, I got to get my years right. Coffee and Jazz, yes. Both of them have won. And this is Miss Hustle's first. First, yes. Um, so you had two, um, rep, you know, you had two prior winners of come, you know, right in a finalist. And, I think and Wody's a four year uh, runner. Uh, um, why am I forgetting her name? Light skin, booty, OnlyFans, Vixen, yeah, Vixen, Vixen, the I, ass assin. I, I swear, I was Vixen, the ass. I was forgetting assin? her name. The I, was, ass, I swear, I was forgetting. I drew a blank. You was thinking about that ass. I was thinking about that. You was thinking about that ass. Vixen, you talking about the light skin going with the with the turkey. You. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that, but but I couldn't think of her name. Vixen won the first one, I believe. And then Coffee, then Jazz, or then it was Jazz. Shout out to Mo. I'm going to show the support every time I catch a lot. And now Hustle. Thank you, Mo. Shout out to Mo. So shout out to Miss Hustle. Um, You earned it. You deserved it. And you did plenty enough to be crowned the winner. And you ended up being the winner. And uh, you should be proud of your year. You put a lot into the year. And um, it's a fact. It's going to be a memorable year for you in your 10-plus year career. Mm-hmm. And I'm proud of you. Maybe get you on a super stream soon. A champion. We got we got the Cody. We now we definitely need the Wody. Oh, yeah, you ain't lying. Gotta set that up. Yeah, I got Miss Hustle's number. Where? Yeah, I'm a hotline bling her after this. Uh. I'm a hotline bling you, Hustle. When we figure it out, when we figure it out. Now that we congratulated the winner. You get that get that out the way first. <laughs> the panel. Yeah. The panel. Um, so I what I I'll start here, bros. This panel was um a different feel and vibe from the other panel. Yes. Which I'm okay with. I mean, do you do you want to see carbon copy versions? They of, were pushing that as soon as Cody was over, they was pushing well, these are completely this different. This is completely panel different, with different opinions, opinions. Completely different thoughts, but the same criteria. Or maybe tweaked a little bit because the pool's down to 15 instead of uh, 20. Because uh, you don't need four battles to place in Cut Wody. I think it's three. Okay. Um, They had Tata on there, uh, Hurricane Du, um, Rita, uh, Wing, and uh, Josh. And, and I think uh, her name was Lola. And Lola, yes, from Detroit. Lola. Cute, shorty. I mean, I should, I'll tell you why she, uh, she, she, why she was related to Vixen. Yeah. Uh, very similar. Low white skin, you know. Shout out to Lola. Shout out to Lola. Um, Hit me. So the vibe was different. <laughs> <laughs> so the vibe was different. The vibe was different, and I thought this panel, this panel was a lot more argumentative. Or is that the word? Uh, um, argumentative? Uh, argumentative, yeah. <laughs> I, I think that's how it. you say it. I think that's how you say it. Argumentative. Sure. Argumentative. Argumentative. Help me out, chat. Argumentative. But they were going at it from the rip. There was no friendly debates. I mean, you, you see, Lolo got red at certain times. They were doing a lot more explicitives and cussing. No, F out of here. What the F y'all talk? I'm like, yo. Oh, you know, women are women yeah, are mo- emotional. Absolutely. For sure. Absolutely. And I felt like Wing and Josh, for the most part, was on the same page. Mm-hmm. They agreed. And then I felt like Ty and Lola at times was agreeing. Lola and Hurricane do would disagreed on a lot of things. I've seen a few things they did agree on, but they were disagreeing a lot. Hurricane do disagreed with everything. Um, and, and then Rita was trying to moderate, but she also was going back and forth with, um, with Lola at certain points. Lola wasn't going. She wasn't having it. She had a lot of strong opinions, though there were some contradictions in there, which is going to be natural mm-hmm. because there is some personal feeling in here. And, that's the thing I wish you can fix. I heard a lot of what well, I feel like 
what I feel like, and I'm, you know, I'm like, well, stop telling me what you feel and, and tell me what you saw. Yeah, tell me what the facts. F- you give me some facts. Yeah. What are the facts of the battle? For sure. Like, if if the consensus of the culture is telling you this is a two one clear, gentlemen's thirty. In a panel form, when you're one of the panelists, I don't want to hear you know. The culture had that as a thirty, but I feel like Yoshi got the first round. I don't want to hear that. And there was too much. I feel like is going on, mm-hmm. right? Which is um, which is a personal opinion, and I just wish that they, they were they stuck to the facts more. There were a lot of arguments about the criteria and what meant more. As far as should the chokes mean more than the the wins and losses or the strength of schedules, right? Um, there was a a a point where um, Lola went in on Shuni, yeah, <clears throat> about her. Five chokes. Which wasn't five chokes. Which wasn't five chokes, right? They and, uh, well, and it depends on what you grade a choke and not. Because the clips I've seen where they were counted as chokes were just little tongue twisters. You know? Like a little... little oh, I, I'll tell you what, Queen. I, I really didn't have a problem with, with, with Josh on the panel for the most part. Or I, Wing. Uh, or Wing. Um... Uh, or, or any other ladies. Or any other ladies can I, for that Can I matter. go, bro? Uh, for oh, sure. I was just running through because it, and I was I wanted to... Yeah, go, go ahead, ahead. go ahead. You're going no, to no. finish. So, so um, um, where was I? Where was I at? Uh, <laughs> um, you were saying that... Um, oh, so she had she had went in on... On on, on Shuni. On Shuni the about the chokes. And then they, uh, they put Shayna Ashley at a certain number and said she only had two battles. Yeah. And they didn't count a whole battle that she had. Yes. Afterwards, when she brought it up, they like, yo, why you ain't tag us in it? And it's like, why, why I ain't tag you in my battle? But ain't, ain't you great in this award that they pay money for? Why would I have to tag you? a hey, quotey panelist, did you see this battle? Right? Shane is one of the prominent names in female battle rap and in battle rap. Yeah, and if she's on the if list. If Shayna only had three battles, that ain't that many battles to watch. So if she only had three, damn it, I better know about all three of them, right? Agreed. It's Shayna here. It's just, just a lot of inconsistencies and a lot of emotion in this panel, although this is a tough job to do. It's an imperfect system. Uh, what did you think about it, bros? What was your opinion on it? So I felt like I already knew who the winner was before they started Wody, the panel. Um, I felt like they hedged their bet all the way up until the point. Um, and my biggest problem was, was I didn't feel like they did, disguised it well either. Yeah. Because we're arguing until until our our skin is changing colors. Right? <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, Lola got red in that joint. to the point where our skin is changing colors from 15 through 4. Right? Yeah. From yeah. 15 through 4. There we was a lot, lot of discrepancies. We got a so lot we, of debates. There was a lot of discrepancies. We got a lot of, we got a lot of, I feel like, back and forth on, on, on who had this person where from 15 through 4. And then we all got the same top three. Like, we all got a consensus top three here. I mean, we got to, we got through 15 to f- down to 4, right? Correct. And, and it was tough sledding. A lot of people disagree with certain placements. And then we got to the top three and the argument stopped. And and for me, the, the debating stopped. For me, I mean, this was the most competitive Wody race of them all. Someone can correct me in the chat if I'm wrong, but one, two, and three was way too close to me for mostly everybody to have the same. Right. I think Tay might have had Jazz at two. She might have been the only one, but for the most part, the consensus was it, it was the same for three, two, and one. You thought the race was too close for all five panelists to have Miss Hustle. You thought that stood out to you? Yes. Yes, especially when we arguing so much for every other slot. It was very hard to get down to the top three. So three, two, and one is, is consensus from everybody, and that just that kind of striked me as odd. And I felt like... We're going this way just for the sake of being different. I, I, I. Now, you said that. You said that you felt like you were scared that the, the Wody panel 
we're going to overly try to make sure they didn't coincide or correlate with what the Cody panel did. So if they pick Miss Hustle at 12 and Jazz at 11, you know, now nah, we don't see it that way almost type shit, right? Or we don't want to be looked at like we're going with the Cody panel. Yeah, we're not going to give Jazz this award just because Cody had her at 11. Mm-hmm. So I felt like because they put Jazz up the highest on that list, it kind of like... Well, Tay Tay, we don't. I don't really know these people like it's that. It's Tai Tai. It's Tai Tai. He says Tai Tai, not Tai Tai. Thank you. This is my page. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, so that kind of that it was just bothering me. Hold on, real quick, Cheeks. He said it's um, Vixen and Lola related. I see a lot of people asking that. Now I don't know. I don't know, but this is what I will say. I got, I got some family in Jersey, right? Right. I'm, I'm in PA. Uh, Lola is from Detroit. I believe, and Vixen the ass assin is from Milwaukee, which is just like Jersey and Philly. They're right next to each other. Shout out to them. This was my other problem, bro. We, I was hearing a lot of people give Hustle the edge to material, right? They had, on when they on their criterias, it would be like we had Miss Hustle over for material. Yeah, Yeah, but Jazz for strength of schedule. Right, Stra- jazz for strength of schedule. Yeah, resume or whatever for the for the year. Okay, but jazz won every single material based award. Right, right. So Miss Hustle got the edge in material by most of the panelists, but jazz, well, jazz won, won all every the awards. Single award that was material based that had Pe- yeah. performance of the night. That's a material based award, correct? Yeah, battle of the night. I mean, uh, as a performance round of the year, battle of the year, round of the year, performance of the night. Yeah. Performance of the night, battle of the year, round of the year. Those are all performance based awards. Material. Uh, yeah. Material based awards. So how, how it, it just, but that was, but I believe the awards are all fan voted. Well, speaking of fan vote, jazz won that. Now, am, am, am I, like, I'm not naive to think, I think Jazz might have the biggest fan base out of all these women on the list, right? And that's why I don't agree with some people saying, nah, man, we need to do, uh, the uh, women shouldn't be allowed on the Cody list. Well, I would disagree with that because I'm not, and and I'm going to use his name because I, I remember um, he was on the bubble. Eunice was on the bubble, right? Mm-hmm. Of the Cody list. He was on the bubble. He was on the outside, correct? Yeah. I'm not taking Jazz coffee or hustle off Cody list to put Eunice on. I don't know about one bubble guy from Cody that I would take off to put like, I wouldn't take these girls off to put none of them bubble dudes on the list. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I, I'm not mad at women be on the Cody list. Um, and I do think women should have their own list. Just going forward, do Wody first. Cause I think that kind of, doesn't shade it as much. So who was your Wody that year, this year? Jazz. You had Jazz. Yeah. I had Jazz. Yeah. But again, I, again, if if the fact that Hustle won is understandable. She had a good enough she did. year she did. to win the award. She did. I, I I just you thought the race was too close. You were surprised that every panelist had hustle. I, I felt like nobody wanted to stand on that island. Right. Mm, that's fire. I felt like nobody wanted to stand on that island. I never looked at it that way. Like and nobody, I tell all, you what, nobody has jazz at one. Come on, I had more. I had more of a and shout out to Rock Lee who won Rookie of the Year for the for the females. Right, uh, came from the spaces and and started battling, and, she, and rightfully so. I, I don't want to make it sound like she didn't deserve to win that award either. Um, but I was like, they didn't even mention Shyrat. I think they might have. Did they? Like, I just felt like I, I, I like I felt like she would have been a lot of people's rookie of the year too. They both started around two years ago, right? For the most part, I don't know which one actually started first, but I just felt like there should have been more of a like talked about, you know, uh, of, of Chirac's years. Just like I, I don't know, I, I thought she should have been mentioned a little bit more. And the whole thing. Now again, here is the thing: you can't get mad when you are critiquing battlers, and then you know at the end people are critiquing your critique of the battlers, right? Like, not knowing Shayna had three battles is crazy, right? Yeah. Um, I thought they were really dismissive of Yoshi. 
thought it was really dismissive of Yoshi earlier. Um, you think so? Yeah, I thought it was a, just a little bit. It was just a little bit of downplaying a little bit, and, and you know, I don't know. I think that um, the, the toughest part is the personal opinion and the, the liking. Right. Female battle rap, it's a lot more clicky, right? And and it, we're not to say male battle rap isn't click, but um, like I give you a, a, a prime example. Um, uh, Hurricane Dew was on the panel, right? Mm-hmm. Now, I, I don't ever think I met her in my life, right? But there's like three or four times, you know, I can I can like pinpoint where she just randomly disrespected me for no reason, right? And for me, let's say next year they put a female on the panel, right? Mm-hmm. Like, I would feel like that was one of the things for the uh, King of the Dot tournament certain judges was picks where it's like, yo, they, I don't even fuck with that person. Like, we we don't even like each other. We had words. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, you know, we didn't cuss each other out at certain times. And this person is telling you how good or not good my year was, it's a little uncomfortable, right? Mm-hmm. So it's just tough. I, I don't know how you, you get around some of these things. Um, You know, sometimes you get people up there and they really don't offer a lot of information. Like, like they just be sitting there. Don't don't really say much, and it's just like um, maybe somebody else could have been they're in that not spot to it, but they disagreeing. They with disagreeing a lot. with everything, but they're not really adding to nothing. You know what I mean? Like um, they was they was trying to give Shayna her her props, and everybody was giving her props for beating me. Like they was talking about the Tory Doe moment for sure, right? Mm-hmm. Because she made Tory Doe not rapped, right? or so it appeared, right? Um, but they were like, hey, you know, she she clearly beat Rosenberg, which is one of the highlights of her year. You know what I mean? Now, it was funny because Dude was the only person who downplayed Shayna beating me. You know what I mean? Like, I, I mean, well, let's, let's be serious. Like, Rosenberg wasn't that crazy or as crazy as this. And it was just like, now everybody here thought it was a big win for Shayna. Because it, it was. was. It was. But and it, it was but in it, front of a, but, a big but here, crowd. But here's somebody on the panelist that I know don't like me for whatever reason it is. And she's downplaying Shayna's accomplishment for beating me. Because she don't fuck with me. It'd just be weird shit like that. I just wish we could take the emotion out of the Wody. Because there's less emotion in the Cody panel. I don't care what you say. If you don't see it, you feel like I'm you know, favoring the males. I'm not. There's less emotion in the Cody panel. There just is. There's more facts. There's opinions in there for sure. There's no way to do it without opinions. Right? But they do a lot of fact checking and a lot of holding it to the facts and the consensus and what the, you know... Again, it Wody's was still, a little bit more emotional, and I know they're females. Yeah, I just felt like also it was just a little, like, contradiction type shit going on. Like, you know, we giving Hustle the edge on material, but Jazz won every single material-based award. That's uh, a fan voting, though. Okay. And fans also voted for Jazz to win Wody. Yeah, she won the so fan So the fans vote. spoke. They yeah. spoke for Jazz. Yeah. The panel had who they wanted to win. Not one person. Who they chose to win. Like and that was that was my thing. Everybody had it the same way. One, two, and three just seemed weird. Just seemed weird. I was blown away that coffee got to two over jazz. I didn't see that coming, bros. I didn't see. I didn't Me see neither. that. Me neither. I didn't see that. And that was. I feel like that was the monkey wrench. Me neither. I thought it was going to be hustle, jazz, coffee. Right. Right. I thought it was going to be hustle, jazz, coffee. But if you remember, they put they put coffee at three. Jazz at two, and I mean hustle at two, and and jazz at one on the Cody list. Mm. Not, like, not, well, I think they were eleven, twelve, and I think um, I think coffee might have been like fifteen or something like that. Okay, but but jazz was the highest. Uh, she was on. She was the highest up on the Cody list. Hustle was the second highest. Yeah, I know they were. Yeah, I know they were so, back to back. You know. Did you know me and Clip surpassed Big K and um, Murder Mook? On, on views, you know they dropped Big K a month before oh, me in clips. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, we're up. We're up about twelve thousand views, and we're about fifteen K away from a million. Word. Let me see where you're at. You know that'd be Fro's first platinum battle in my long career. That's kind of fire. It's fire. That is fire. And I've been I've been watching it too. I'm I'm, I'm glad seeing a couple people notice that because I've been I've been. I've been view watching on that video, waiting for it to crack a mill. Thank you, Charlie. Well, I mean, it, I, he hasn't gotten that that close. He no, I actually would think I was his highest viewed so, battle last year. Yeah, so I can't, I believe. 
you know, I, I think I was Charlie's highest viewed battle last year. Yeah, I think I think Charlie. It was a good battle. It might have been Charlie's best battle last year. Most rewatchable. Me and Charlie really kind of got that. We got that shit the fuck on in there. It was a good battle. Good battle. Like it was a good battle. Yeah, like him and Clips. I mean, uh, Clips and Big K is at nine oh seven two years ago. So, right. Damn. What? Tim and Fair is at three point six. Yeah, that was a good battle. Entertaining. Yeah, it was very entertaining. Have you seen um you done you done uh I think we said what we had to say about Woody. Congratulations to Hustle. Yeah, shout out to Woody and congratulations right. to the panel. Wherever we agree with everything y'all said or did, you guys still you stood know up what? and spent here's, your time. Here, here's what I here's, shout out to y'all. Here's another thing I say about the panel because I felt like they get real defensive when we critique their performance. Right. Right? They're used to critiquing battlers all year. Right. All the time. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if none of you girls up there can rap. Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, do do be battling she ass. So again, you could critique these rappers, then you got to be able to take it when you being critiqued too. You did a job and it's to be critiqued. I didn't think you guys did that well. But shout out to y'all for the time y'all put in. That's definitely because it's not it's not easy to do. I not can't easy. do it. Right. I can't do it. And we were asked. I, I cannot watch all them damn battles. Burroughs was asked. I cannot watch all them battles. They it, it's not that entertaining. To be sitting there watching 300, 400 battles. Hell no. Word. Out of your mind. Word. All right. Battle rappers is ash. <laughs> All right. I got two cards sitting in front of me, bro. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Can we start with let's start with the bullpen? Let's start with the bullpen. I got it right here. I got it right here. All right. Relax a little bit over there too. Or what? As a matter of fact, I could do this. Oh no, you know what? I fixed that, bro. I got you up there too. Just keeping it a billion sheets. We saw that. Look at that nigga with your arm. Hey, did y'all see that? Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> That's fire. Um, so we got this card is crazy. Okay, bro. we got John John and Don versus Calico. Headliner. Headliner. Fire. I'm with that. Especially John John's performance versus Easy was one of his better ones as of recent. Predictions too? Predictions too? John John versus Cal- I'm going Calico. I'm taking John John. All right, we'll 20 miles on that battle. Bet. We'll 20 miles. We'll 20 miles. Get bet. Arsenal bad news. I'm going Ars. Yeah. Yeah, you like news? I do. All right, dub there. Uh, Tay Rock, well, I'm going to live in La Vida Loso. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Only because Tay Rock's schedule is so grueling, I think he's going to win, but I want to be fair, so we'll I'll bet for Loso. Tay Rock got hit with two strapped ins. He's not winning this battle. Tay Rock, no, Loso got I hit with Loso two strapped ins. Loso got hit with two strapped ins. Yeah, it was crazy. Tay Rock, that was crazy. Rock, don't put that on Rock. Don't put that on Rock. No, Loso, <laughs> Loso that. said that. He Loso said, I'm the first person hit, who got hit with two strapped ins. Loso got Tay hit Tay Rock with didn't say two that. strapped ins. Tay I'm going to go with Loso for the sake of betting. All right. Okay. Chef Shiraz versus T Top, fat ass. ass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think. Fat ass is on the end of T-Top. I mean, T-Top. Chef Trez versus T-Top. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I want to go T-Top here because of his win versus Twerk, but I thought Chef Trez's performance versus Clips was bullshit. And I thought it was, yeah. He, you didn't listen, then. I didn't listen, then? Nah, you didn't listen, man. You only watched that battle. Well, hold on. Time. Well, when Just I say, say bull- bullshit, when I say bullshit, I, I look at Trez as a top shelf battler now. I thought he climbed himself into that conversation. Right? Top 15, top 20 guy on the planet. I easy. think you can easily put Chef in there. Easy. I had high expectations for his Clips battle. First big battle of the year, mega battle, Clips. It For me as a Chef fan, it was just a little mild. That's all. And I'm I'm, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm allowed to say that. It was a little mild. And, and bullshit compared to what I expected. No, he wasn't trash. But it wasn't a good Chef, in my opinion. It was just mild. This, car, this is a monster car. Even man. if he won the battle. Even if you felt like he won the battle. Because I had clips to one. And we had Twerk versus Clone. You know, this is a battle Clone. I got Twerk, but this a, like these type of battles is like Clone could win this battle. Hopefully Twerk don't play around. Yeah, I don't know clone. if this is three or one. Regardless. And we got Gwitty versus Super, Super Black. <laughs> Gwitman. Gwitman Holler versus Super Black. Solid little card. They're going to get my money. They're going to get my money. This is a solid card for sure. Politics as usual. April 26th, Atlanta, Georgia. (laughs) 
Oh, and they got okay pay per view. No froze Lee Loso got Geechee forty eight hours before Rock. Don't take the bet, but Rock got a ward forty eight hours after Loso. God damn it, Rock! Rock trying to pay off a house or mortgage or some shit. Well, listen, and if he is more power to you, Rock. Power to him. Get that Rock, money. Rock, you trying to buy a house this year? Get that money. Smack told us he ain't got it like that. He said, "No, yeah, yeah." <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Rock outside, outside. <laughs> Rock Cheeks said he got 50 on Woody. I'm not betting 50 on Super Black. Cheeks? I don't know. That ain't crazy. So I got Monopoly up here. Monopoly 2 up here. This okay. is another one. This is the Riot card. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is two days after on Sunday? So wait a minute. April 26th. I think that's a Friday. That's for uh bullpen. Yeah, that's Friday, bullpen, and then riot on Sunday. You see that for sure? I'm positive. That's fire. You got to get both of these. You have to. I know. I mean, who you got? Tay Rock versus A War. I you know, at this point. I got to see somebody clip Rock during this run first before I, you know what I mean? Pick against, against him. him. But A War got a shot here, and people acting like he don't is blasphemy. Yeah, I mean, he has more than a shot. Um, I was in the spaces yesterday, and they was acting like he didn't have a shot. Like, he's got more than a puncher's chance. You know, like, Rock can't play around against against A War. Who you got, though? You got, you got, uh, you said you had. I'm going to go with Rock. All right, uh, Geechee In Gotti close versus one, Loso. But do not be surprised if War getting Geechee Gotti versus Loso. Big crit. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm really here for this battle. Riggs versus Snake Eyes. They battling for the love of Tone Bro. <laughs> for the Tone Bro title. Yeah. You know, I ain't going to hold you. I spoke to some people close to that situation. There's, there's really no real re- reason besides the Tone Bro shit why Snake is so upset at Riggs. Riggs ain't even do nothing to him. I mean, Snake Eyes. I think he's more mad at Tone Bro. Nah, but see, I, I'm, I'm in Tone Good according to my sources. So I'm not really sure. Maybe, you know what, Snake? I don't know. Tone Bro is not <clears throat> confrontational. No. Right? So maybe if Snake is feeling some type of way towards Tone Bro, he definitely ain't voice it or maybe didn't voice it. I'm speculating. Um, but according to my, my sources, him and tone is cool. They like, that's his man's. So why he's so mad at rigs and, and putting, you know, who you got in that battle, BB guns in the camera and pointing them at rigs is crazy. I'm going with rigs. Yo, I forgot he was on that. Snake was wilding, bro. I he was tripping, he was bro. on that, yo. He, he's way too emotional in this battle. I forgot they I, I did wanna, that skit. Listen, listen. Riggs is hot, <laughs> oh and goodness. Snake is wilding, and he's emotional right now in this, with this particular matchup. And I really want to see the battle. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But that's where I feel like Snake is going to get hurt in this battle. He's, Over he, emotional? He's personalizing it. Mm. And Riggs sometimes is just, that's what you need, though. Sometimes it can hurt you, though. To help you, well, you know, it could. But Riggs been on fire lately. What time is it? 325. Speaking of kids, I got to go pick mine up from a track meet. What time? I don't know. All right, that doesn't sound really responsible. <laughs> I do want to see that battle, though. Shotgun Shook versus Capo, but I got Shook. Just like that? Just like that. Av versus Don Marino. Av going to fuck Don up. Chef Trez versus so Billy, am I. Billy Boondocks. Billy Boondocks coming back? Oh, you know Billy? Yeah. You don't know who Billy Boondocks is? Can't say that I do. Do you remember the video where it was this dude with a backpack, and he was arguing with the Saurus and, uh, and Disaster? And he was like, rap, rap. He was trying to battle him on the spot. No. And 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 Disaster start punching on him. They start rumbling like he, like he, like he, like he kind of beat him up a little bit. Nope. You don't remember that? No. All right. I, I got to, uh, I'll show you that when we get off. Yeah, it was a whole rumble and shit. Billy Boondocks is on camera. Ella, the mayor versus uh, Diada Henny Man. 
Okay, Henny. Shout out to Henny. <laughs> Henny always know the way to find his way opening up a car to a good car. You ever peep that? Every time it's a fire ass car that ain't like a like like a RBE or a URL joint, Henny be on that shit. And we got Eunice versus Toronto. Eunice versus no lacking. No, Toronto. The Toronto, the, you know, the Toronto Tay Rock. You know, I'll be honest with you. Toronto. I, I don't, I, Eunice is going to dog that bullshit, wannabe gun bar shit he be doing. I'm not really high on franchise. He be talking crazy on Twitter to me a lot. I don't know why he's nowhere near on my level or in my stratosphere. And be, I say he that. Be, he be glazing. He be glazing. And I say that from a humble place. You know, he said, they did a blog on it. You know, he tweeted me and said, you have never been more lit than me in battle rap. Now, I don't know what shit they putting in the cocaine in Toronto, but it's different. Facts. It's different. Like, franchise has never, ever been a draw in America. He's like a Civil War mid-card opener at best. So to look at me, and like, I, I was offended that he, I'm like, yo, Either he just saying shit, or if he believe that and that's the temperature into Toronto, like I need to, I need to go out to Toronto. <laughs> you understand? Know I got offended if he really believe that type shit. <clears throat> um, yeah, it just be a bunch of mid, bro. Eunice, I'm going with Eunice. Four O if you want to coin toss. And he ain't being a little biased, but so we all be sometimes. At least I admit it. Y'all be lying, acting like y'all don't be biased. I'm not a little biased. biased. A little biased. But I'll tell you if I'm wrong, at least you can respect that. For sure. You in 5v5 before we get up out of here, man? Super stream on Sunday, I think. <laughs> I think. 5v5. You, uh, you know what? Now, I should have asked you for the category. It is quick meals. If you need time to come up with five quick meals that you like, that you think slap, it's crazy to me. I'll start. I'll give you a range to you. PB and J. Okay, that was it's a that classic was, peanut butter from that Jelly was the first Sandwich. Thing that popped into my mind. Yeah, well, I, I, I took okay, it. So that's your one. Okay. Classic PB and J. Quick meals, 5e5, quick meals. Mine is PB and J. I'm going to go oodles and noodles. Ooh, I ain't going to hold you. <laughs> the noodles and the PB and J. I'm going to go that's oodles a and noodles. That's a headliner. Yeah, I'm going to go oodles. Number one draft pick for sure. Okay. Can I go with the tuna? Yeah. And the tuna and crackers, a little tuna sandwich. Yeah, yeah right? tuna fish. A little tuna fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I got another one that's right. uh, top tier. Talk to me. Bowl of cereal. Ooh, that's a quick <laughs> meal. That's a quick meal. That's <laughs> fire. <laughs> oh, that is fire. Uh, All right. Bowl um, of cereal. Like. Um, grilled cheese. Ooh. That's, that's a good one. I got one. I got another one, I think. I'm going to go with the uh, Lunchable. The Lunchable? Yeah. You, you low ass kid. Come on, man. Don't act like you the be putting them crack. I love turkey. I was about to say, we're not going to act like the Lunchable was not and a I top tell you what, tier. No, no. And you, I'm going to say we're going to fraud to you. I act like they don't be in my fridge. I'm yeah. lying. Like, come and on. Like, now. Lunchables now, are what, top tier. They were it, top tier. The turkey Lunchable. And, and I need the little Reese's in there at the end. Yeah. That, that, that's important. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So, wait, where we at here? I had PB&J. I had tuna fish. And I had. uh. Grilled cheese. Yeah, that's three. And you had noodles, 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 bowl of cereal, and the Lunchables. And the Lunchable. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, can I go a uh, little turkey sandwich, cold cut sandwich? A little sandwich and yeah, chips? for sure you can. You can right. always go to turkey and cheese. A little turkey and cheese? I think I got that, though. No, no, you don't got that. You got the lunchable. That no, you I'm could, saying I think I can beat that. You can. All right, talk to me. Hot pocket. Hot pocket. I, I'm not going to hot pocket over a turkey and cheese you know what sandwich. Hot pocket, you talking about? Any hot pocket you pick, bro. Throw them one. First of all, I love the meatball mozzarella. That's my. Go with the know. classic. The, ham and the, cheese. Ham and cheese. Like. Ham and cheese over the turkey and ham and cheese hot pocket over a turkey and cheese cold cut sandwich. I just don't think it compares. I don't think it could compare. All right. Slice of pizza. Mm. Quick meal. Slice of pizza. Now, I ain't got time. I don't have time to cook. I'm stopping I'm getting a slice. Now, I'm not going to lie. Frankie 11. Yeah, Frankie. That's he a good just, one. You got to. Just, he just ruined it. No, nah, no. Nah, you would have went there. You, just, there. you know I was going to. Yeah, you don't there. You, you, know, know, you would have went there. You would have went there. You, oh, you, you were going. So you're going with the hot dog. The glizzinator. The glizzinator. That's crazy. 
<laughs> the classic glizzinator. Okay. I, I think I got you. I disagree, bro. All right, let's run it through one more Did time. You, what was your last pick? My, my last pick was um was a um was a slice of pizza. A classic. Can't go wrong. See, when you think when I'm thinking of quick meals though, like I'm thinking of like quick meals in the crib. All right, let me ask you a question. So when you say a slice of pizza, what you talking like the Red Baron? No, what I'm you saying like, like the our, Celeste. Okay, no, I'm saying you I'm talking like the No, Giorno? I'm saying I was at work late today because I had to work overtime because some shit happened. I was supposed to cook tacos for the family tonight, right? I told the wife, go ahead, order something because I'll be home late and I'm going to grab a slice of pizza on, on the way home type shit. Quick meal, slice of pizza, not a whole pizza pie. Like, that's a whole different scenario. A slice of pizza definitely goes in a quick meal. What y'all think, chat? Oh, I, I think I was just, you know, maybe reading that wrong. Nah, nah, I think, well, I mean, it's a slice of pizza. It's a pizza spot. Who can't run in and grab a quick slice? It's definitely. Yeah, but that's like not a quick meal. You running, into the, you running out to the store. <coughs> like, that's not a, like, nah, like I'm thinking you quick meals. trying to take meals. back my I'm thinking five. like you in the crib, like you, you know, like a quick meal in the crib. Like, I, I ain't know like stores was involved. Of all that case, a quick meal, I'd, I'd call a fucking cheesesteak up. Fifteen minutes before he, I'm ready, to go get it. Like he, to, he knew the hot dog don't go do nothing for the pizza. So now he's trying all, to call. The Glizzy is now he's top trying to tear a quick he, meal. That's crazy. What are you talking about? I, look. Oh, so you got to make it. So now, when did I say you had to physically make the meal? All I said a was a quick, quick meal. meal. Quick meal. All I, I, I would have said was a quick meal. If you, you know what I'm saying, I didn't assume that you was making the hot dog. You could have stopped and grabbed the Glizzy at one of the little spots. Quick meal. I don't think it count. Uh, he can say Chinese for all that. That's what I'm saying. All right, all right. So I take the pizza off. Yeah, you got it. Unless you talking, unless you talking the microwavable John. Nah, which is nah. Different. I never, I never dug the microwavable <laughs> pizzas. That was never my thing. Which is different. That was never my thing. All right, quick meal, quick meal. AK, how I'm making what? The hot dog? A couple different ways. Can I do a, um... Yeah, Bizzle B, that's what I'm saying. It's got to be the microwave pizza. That's what he talked about. No, 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 I don't Baron's want microwave pizza. pizza. I was just saying the Red Baron slap. Nah, the Red Barons don't slap. Elio's. What are we talking about? The Elio. You could go Elio's. You could go Elio's. I, I Marshall already picked it. I already picked it, the, the chips and, and sandwich. All right, all right. I'm gonna go with. Uh, give me a second, because he just made me take. Give me a second. He just made me take my fifth pick off, which was a which was a home run hitter. <laughs> which was a home run hitter. Just trying to take a little quick meal. I think if I'm in the crib, I think you got the. I think you got to boil the gliz. Straight water, like no. no. Got to boil the gliz. Um, <laughs> lose that a couple of different ways. It's crazy. No, it's not, man. No, it's not crazy. Eating a hot dog is nothing gay about that. Stop <laughs> it. I'm not letting y'all do that. Quick meal. Quick meal. What we doing? Like, how long does it does it take? Um, spaghettios. Spaghettios. Can I go spaghettios? That's a quick meal. Yes. Spaghettios. Classic spaghettios. With, yes. the, meat, with the meatballs. Yes. Or with the or franks. The whatever franks. one. Or with the franks. Whatever one you the prefer. Slice franks. Whatever one you prefer. Don't slice franks. Like yeah, we yeah. eat spaghettios with the, with slice, the slice franks. franks. They Stop might be it. better than the meatballs. Stop it. Maybe. All right. Because I was going to go egg sandwich or egg or Fact. omelet or something. Fact. You get a little pan mean? sear on the yeah. dog. But if you're in a rush, you throw them joints in the boiling water, a little ketchup, a little you. mustard, a little relish. It ain't going to hurt. I'm not going to hold you. You can do that with the sliced bread. Anytime, anytime we at the crib and we doing hot dogs, I just throw them right on charcoal grill right out back. I stay with a big ass bag of charcoal and kids run around. I'll put them bitches in the air fryer. You know. Nah, I'm just, I'm, I ain't going to hold you. I... Nacho's not a quick meal. You got to cook the hamburger meat. Like... Corn dog is classic. I'm more of a corn dog at a carnival type bull. And dare somebody say something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's me. The Chef Boyard D raviolis is next level. I'm not arguing with nobody. Beef patty, not a quick meal. If you go on beef patty in a microwave, you need to be arrested. Uh, rap, 
Chef Boyardee Chef ravioli Boyardee. is next level. That, do, do that, that don't go in the that don't go in the SpaghettiO category. I mean, yeah. Soda is a soda, whatever it's Sprite or Coke. No, that's not. That's absolutely <laughs> not true. You got your mind. That's the way with the raviolis over the spaghettios. Nah, but sp- spaghettios was a good pick, though. So, got to me, I still think you lost, but it was it was you know. I think I won because I got you picked hot dog. I got something with hot dogs in it. That's crazy. <laughs> hot dogs are in spaghettios. I got the sliced franks. Yeah, very exclusive. All right. I ain't even got to put a poll up, y'all. I, I I'm taking the... That was crazy. <laughs> I ain't got to put the poll up. I was about to say, I'm taking the whole dog back. <laughs> what you mean? I'm eating the whole hot dog. I eat the whole hot dog. I ain't going to hold you this video. It's called Frank's... Uh, I think it might be Frank Red Hots or somebody eat something Red Hots. But he got two hot dogs. He got a hot dog truck and he got a hot dog uh, storefront. And I guess he put the camera on his hat or something. He'd be making little 40-minute videos of just knocking out these exotic-ass hot dogs. And you want one. Want one? Mm-hmm. Yo, he loading these joints. Boy, came yep. in somebody, uh, uh, let me get a chili cheese dog with onions. That's the first thing that stood out to me. That's the first thing that stood out to me. He said, you want the sweet chili, mild or hot? He had different kind of chilies, right? So I'm like, all right, I mean, that, there's usually only one chili in one spot, right? He was sweet chili, hot chili, mild chili, right? The onions. You want hot onions, you want regular onions. With sweet onions, hot, hot, hot onions. <laughs> and he loading this shit on a dog. Wax paper wrapping him, sliding it to go. Get a bag of chips and a Pepsi, and we, we got a meal. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I wish he was local. I wish he was local. But I be watching his videos because I, I it's relaxing. You be thinking about them hot dogs. I don't be thinking about the hot dogs. It's you just like watching it very some. Well, you sound like you watch this page. A I, lot. I could explain the outdoor boys page where the boy be going and building igloos and shit and, and zero below weather. I watch that too. I watch the rug cleaning. But shit. you ain't gotta defend you like I watching watch the, the bull make hot dogs. Now you making you little back, def- backhanded you don't compliments. Have to defend that, bro. It's okay. like, like you it's want, cool. like, like you like you want the shit slapped out of you or something. I don't know. <laughs> you just making weird comments and shit. Saying, you Chicken nuggets. That was a miss. Chicken nuggets was a miss. But see. <laughs> Froze fiending for a chili cover busy. Oh, I'm out. All right, y'all. <laughs> Hit frozenbergtv.com. Make sure y'all get some merch. We ain't had no orders in a while. We got uh, some hot shit up there. Check it out. You're tripping, man. Check it out. We got a super stream <laughs> on Sunday, I think. That is subject to change, but I think. And y'all know I keep y'all, you know, I, I keep y'all. Uh, Froze leaving here and you're going to get a glizzy. And you know what sucks? We don't have any hot dog spots out here. Why why I got a good dog? Why why I don't have a dog where I can dump chili and cheddar cheese on it to make it not free? Then you can go to the Sev for that. The, f- the Sev? Big bite. I'm not, first of all, the fact the Sev even sound quarter pounder. quarter pound hot dogs, I'm not fucking with them. The heavy drones. I'm not, I'm not buying that shit. I'm not buying that shit. But up in Lehigh Valley, they, they got pots. Now I'm going to keep it a bean. Pots ass low key. They got the chili and shit, but it's a little, it's a little canned chili. He pulled a little, uh, the, you know, the, uh, the, the cheese. Get fucking. Get FrozenbergTV.com. You feel me, Elk Bomb? I ain't going to hold you. Uh, did the No Paul shirt drop? Yeah, FrozenbergTV.com. They up there. I don't know why everybody ain't checking the website out. Some fire shit on And the website fire. Paul's the heavy, John's Merck. No, no diddy. <laughs> um, no, but I ain't going to hold you. Like, right now. Like right now, we just talked about it. Like, let there have been like a, a, a you know a, a, a Frank's Beast on the way home with, with, with a, all type of exotic hot dog. I'd have been pulling right up, grabbing two of them, <laughs> chili cheese, extra chili with some onions, and um, let me get a sauerkraut, mustard, relish, spicy mustard, and um, bag of chips and a Pepsi. Uh, I ain't embarrassed about it. Love is love, y'all. We see you when we see you. <laughs>